What's up, everybody? This is Francis over here from PlayerEssence.com and PE Reviews, and I wanted to bring you guys another Bayonetta Let's Play. We're on part five here. If you want to catch any of the previous episodes, you can do so on my Twitch TV. That will be linked in the description below. Just because I've been kind of been uploading them to different <laughs> channels that I have, I have, of course, my PE Reviews channel, and I have my PlayerEssence.com channel. Of course, this will go up on both of them, plus it'll go up on PlayerEssence.com. But um, this is part five here, and actually this isn't me, this is me recording over, because the audio uh, while I was playing, that one got messed up. Uh, so I'm doing a voiceover here as far as the data goes. So um, I can be narrating things, and I can, I can uh, bash my own play here. So it might be kind of fun. So uh, we're, we are on chapter seven. That is the car uh, the cardinal virtue of temperance, and this is a boss battle here. So this one was really interesting because you fight a really huge monster, a really huge of you know one of the different forms of the angels. So um, I had a lot of fun doing it, and uh, <laughs> like I said, once again, Bayonetta is one of those games really weird combos here. But um, there's so much creativity. That's that's the best combo right there. So if you're if you're learning how to play the game, you definitely want to do the punch, punch, punch then dodge, or then slight pause, then uh, multiple press Bs. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's get to the action here. As you can see, uh, lots of cars like the flyby Bayonetta. She, she's not really worried about it, especially in that outfit that she's wearing. Ah, oh, the lovely Bayonetta. I'm going to do a little crappy voiceover narration from these people. <laughs> these really ugly people. Despite the passing of time, you still hold the pride of an overseer, don't you? Oh yeah, so very interesting. I like how they they kind of detail each you know each monster inside that old book of theirs. That old bayonetta style. That's that's the one thing that this game does not lack any of. This guy's laughing for some reason, about to get his freaking butt kicked. Look at that! Before you even know it, she's there. <laughs> Uh, neither do I, so that's something me and Bayonetta have in common. <laughs> At first, the uh, Armageddon split reality into light, dark, and chaos. It was the it was in this first battle that was that those who rebelled against the light claimed dominion over the darkness. We have but the goal, resurrecting the creator. We have but one goal, resurrect the creator and unifying the trinity of realities. Don't want to mess up here. That shall be the purpose of your sacrifice. Pfft. I don't think, I don't know about that big guy. I like the fun. Of course. Bayonetta is really stuck on pillow talk this, uh, this, <laughs> this whole chapter in your face. Okay, so while I was playing this, you know, it's been a while, it's been years since I've played this game, maybe three, four years now, so I'm always forgetting exactly what I need to do on each boss battle or, or the best plan of attack, so I always get hit a lot, um, and I'm over here just kind of jumping around, not knowing what to do, but the whole thing is to, uh, you'll see later, you have to actually throw some damage, get some massive damage, but I'm running around like an idiot, trying to hit the, trying to hit him, and he's not even close enough. But I always love the boss battles because she has like her witch time weave, um, pretty much like full powered, you know, kind of like unlimited mode in uh, Wonderful 101, kind of on, on the boss battles where, like, where you know you don't run out of um, juice, wonderful juice. So it's uh, pretty good. I really like that about the game. See, and like, as you can see, it's like I'm always getting freaking hit over and over. I'm getting hit. <laughs> All right, so I eventually get the hang of things later on, but. You know, a bit anticlimactic at, be at best, but I don't die, which is the good thing. But I did do a, a nice upgrade where I can, like, if I press the dodge button at the right time, even after I get hit, I can turn into some bats. So that really gets me, gets me out of a couple pickles um, uh, before. So I'm, I'm over here. Oh, where do I jump to? Where do I jump to? Eh, still don't get it, but hey. Uh, you know, right here I could be, I should be shooting right now, but I'm trying to get a little charge, see if I can do a little Ryu Hayabusa action didn't work again. I'm starting to get a little bit of the hang of things here. Those, those, those missiles and stuff are not really too hard to dodge.
So I'm doing more dodging, doing more dodging, just kind of trying to hit up my witch time, uh, my witch time wicked weave a little bit. I'm trying to get a good combo on him, and I finally got one there where it kind of busted off some of his, um, his tentacles that he has. Get hit again. Now, like I said, this is the main problem I have like, after playing this game. You don't recognize the patterns at first, and you keep on getting hit. But Bayonetta is one of those games you're supposed to replay to get better times and stuff. But I finally figured out, okay, yeah, that's where you go. You grab that. And not only is this a regular bus, it's an explosive bus. Somehow there was like some dynamite strapped to that bus somewhere because it, ex it hits and then it explodes. <laughs> so that's really cool. Got a little wicked weave in there. So now, you know, he's kind of powering down. And, I, and by, at this point, I've pretty much gotten the hang of things as far as dodging. Well, I mean, I should. It's not really too hard. Um, but yeah. And now we're really getting some damage. And we're starting to break him down one by one, which is the, the you know one of the like the best parts about Bayonetta. It's just so it's it's so fantastically, the, the controls are so fantastically put. They're so fantastically. Why am I wearing that stupid word? They're so well made and they're it's so precise. It's like really you literally do what you want to do. There's sometimes where you think you dodge or you thought you pressed the button like right there when I got hit. Um, but you know, it's usually your fault. They see that's what I was talking about that power with the, with the bat right there. You can kind of. Uh, nice dodge here. And I remember playing this game, those blue things that you guys saw there, those things jacked me up the first time. So, right, climax, climax. And this is like I said, one of these things, like I said, it's just so unique. I remember first playing this, I was like, I couldn't believe there was like these, these type of things you could do with, you know, turning to the animals and with your hair. It was, it was freaking amazing. I was blown away. Then we start ripping this whole apart one by one, which is awesome, like always. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, like here I pretty much got the hang of it, but for some reason I get hit a few more times um, coming up. But, uh, you gotta shut off his armor. And he's like blowing dragon wind at me. I get hit again, which I don't like. Alright, let's see where we're at here. I got a boot to the face, but he's to the point to where I'm not really worried about his uh, punches. I can just jump on his arm. But it, I've got to, I've got to hand it to this guy. Like being able to be this big and to be losing, you know, this bad by somebody like this small. I got to hand it to <laughs> maybe I actually hand it to the wrong person. I hand it to Bayonetta. She actually destroys this person so big. So, you know. It's all about the skill of the user, and it's all about the skill of Bayonetta's witch time. Witch powers. I mean, speaking of that, I mean, I'm just a, I'm, the reason why I'm doing this right now too is just also for Bayonetta 2, because as you guys know, anybody who's been following the site, man, Bayonetta 2, that game's going to be absolutely crazy. I cannot wait to play that game. You know, doing the narration overwards is uh, it's. It's, <laughs> I don't know which one I like more, either just doing live stream playing or actually doing narration over it while I rip this guy's arm off. What if you were just rolling around and some witch ripped off both of your arms? Like, at that point, I would just, there's no reason to fight back. I mean, I don't, I can continue fighting. The, the match is over for the most part here. Although, like I said, I do get hit again and I do go into the wrong tunnel here. I don't know, and I'm over here, like, trying to hit something. There's nothing for me to hit and I'm like, oh, okay, let me follow these flashing cords. Maybe that'll lead me to what I need. actually need to hit. <laughs> you know, and... And I'm kicking and I'm kicking the wrong way for some reason. I don't know why. I was just facing... Like I said, that was completely my fault. That was not the controls being bad or anything like that. So let's move on to the next one here. You gotta be careful, especially with these blue ones. You can actually hit them and they'll disappear. So that's also another strategy that I, you know, that I wasn't intentionally trying to take advantage of, but I was doing it anyway. This person's almost done. That node's done. I mean, I mean just seriously though, I, got, I was saying like before my audio got jacked up. Um, what if you were just like getting beat like that, and, like you're just crumbling one by one? Like how much? How much would that suck? Is this like a little ant? 
is literally just like chopping you off and cutting off your body and cutting off your pieces as you're crumbling to the ground below you. That just really suck. But of course, this is when I decide I want to get hit with everything, you know. And normal normal mode saved me here because on hard mode I would have been I might have been dead a while ago. See, I don't know if we get hit on this one or not. Let me see. Oh, not this one. That, so like that one right there. It's like I thought I dodged, but I get hit again. Oh, get a witch time. Get the best combo. Remember, punch, punch, punch. Three punches. No delay and a kick. That's the best combo that you got. Especially when you get the bazookas. But until then, you use the shotguns. And right there, I'm just getting destroyed for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just constantly getting destroyed. Like, that last part, I just, this last part here, I'm just like, I'm sweating it, by the way, because he actually has more help than me. One more good hit, and I'm done. So, I'm kind of sweating it while I'm playing. And I'm like, oh, don't get hit, practice, don't get hit. Let me just kill this guy. I had to dodge one more time. And then I just finished him off there. And... Bayonetta Dance. And right here, I'm actually looking at the at my uh, feed. And I'm like, oh crap! And I forgot. That's why I didn't max out the the um, the Mega Ten punches there, because I was looking at this. I was looking at my uh, my recording uh, software and stuff, seeing what time I was at. <laughs> Messed up. My bad. But Bayonet is always fun to play. It's always fun, even if you're getting your butt whooped, kind of like how I did right there. It's always fun to play. Don't mind, sorry about that little noise there. I have my little phone in the background. <laughs> Gotta watch Bayonetta here. This is one of the best parts coming up pretty soon here. I really like it, it's funny. <laughs> Got the P, P statue here. I have to let you guys watch that. Oh, that that's right where it hurts. I'll let you guys watch this part. Bayonetta is strong. Maybe as strong as Kratos. I don't know. <laughs> she held a bus dropping at full speed. Pretty handled that bus pretty easily. John in the corner. She's like, hmm. I've already fought her a couple times. I'll beat her up some more later. <laughs> Alright, so that basically wraps it up for this chapter here. So I want to show you guys how I did, which was not so good. I got a I got a Luca. Got hit too many times. So that basically wraps it up for this chapter here. Make sure you check out playeressence.com and remember I'll be doing more Let's Plays on Bayonetta. I look forward to that in the near future. Alright then guys, see you later. Peace.